Hi there, it's Tiffany Quarter. Um, this is my MVC Frameworks um, for Full Sail Online. And uh, I'm just gonna go through really quickly how I incorporated it into a, um, my read data. Um, basically, I did what um, I had done before in the previous project, except I just didn't uh, make the lists. So it's just basically reading out the, reading out the uh, data for me through the framework. Um, so what I did was, if you look over here, it's got a little bit different um, organization to it, which I, I actually prefer and I really like. Um, you can see controllers, which before um, in my other videos were, you know, pony.php or the index, um, anything like that. Uh, so in my controller, I have a pony.php, um, and within that, um, of course, it's the class pony extends ci controller. Um, in my past video, I explained what CI controller was. It was a pre-made class in um, Code Igniter. Um, well, it's inside the class, and that's CI controller. Um, so in here, I do have a function for info, public function for info. And within that, I have ID get ID, so that um, the signal starts right here with the ID. Um, and this right here is going to be loading the, the model, so the pony model that I have. And below that, it's going to do data, and within those brackets, the array, it's going to be pony. Um, so basically anything that you put in, um, in a data array becomes a variable in the view pony info. Um, right here, uh, pony info. This is um, passing the data to the model and getting the data back. And if it doesn't, I did an if statement here to show a 404. Um, if data is not pony, then show 404. Um, and then of course, this load view pony info data. Um, so that's loading the view. Um, in the pony model, I I did the class um, pony model extends CI model. That's something else that's built in to Code Igniter. Um, and I did the read by ID function, and it has the parameter of ID, so it gets the data as ID. Um, so pony array equals this database get where, which is a new thing in um, Code Igniter. Um, so it gets a pony array ID. BID and the result, so um, it does the query against the database and returns the item. And the database and uh, gets where is built in the CI, like I said. Um, so I did an if statement here to if uh, pony is set to zero, return pony array, else return false. Um, pony info inside here, it's the basic HTML stuff. And uh, Inside here, I just, um, since I have pony as the variable on the other page, for pony info, like it says, um, this one, data pony will uh, become the variable in pony info. So when now we're in pony info, and as you can see, the pony is the variable when it's getting the user ID or the name or the color, cutie mark, hometown, or description. Um, so I just did basically the H1, H2s, the, the paragraphs. Did a little bit of CSS work here, just simple. And uh, finally, I went in to um, Code Igniter has folders over here that have errors uh, uh, built in, uh, like uh, CSS built in for the errors. And I got the error for for CSS stuff. And I just kind of uh, edited that a little bit for my error for for. So if Look, this is my my little pony page, and you'll see that obviously it's pulling, it's reading. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a pony that I don't have um, for the ID, and it's going to show you the 404. <laughs> so um, basically, I kind of styled that a different way, just to uh, be kind of kind of funny. But, um, <laughs> so this is the 404 page when you're not able, when you're not finding the right ID. So if you look back in my SQL Pro in my database, you will see that I don't have a, a pony ID of one. I have it from 13 up. 
So if I do 13 again, it'll bring me there. I'll do 14, give me the other one. Um, so that's, that's what it looks like right now, reading the information. So also if you're wondering what I did here, there is also a database in the configuration folder. And if you notice, there is no require once or anything like that. It automatically does it for you inside here. So if you go into your database and you chain and you put in your host name, username, database, all that, um, it will automatically turn on for you. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so that's that. Let's see what else. Basically, I just had it go to the CSS that I have, but I also made, I know that a lot of people do make public folders, and they put their CSS and images and JavaScript and all that stuff inside there, so I did that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, and if you look, I have pony.php in my controllers, I have pony model in my models, and I have pony info in my views. And then I put header and footer and header into a template file because that's going to be on all the pages, whereas Pony Info will be its own page or its own view. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and again, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I just thought that you'd like to see this one more time. <laughs> all right, you have a great holiday season, and thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.